11th grade at St. John Bosco, and she just always put the extra time and care to help me understand the material. So I'd like to give a shout out to her for her extra yard for Teachers Week. All right, thank you very much. Wyatt. We'll open up the floor for questions. Fourth row left, Andy. Yeah, can you sort of talk about the physicality of this offensive line? It seems like you guys and your coaches have talked about how you can blow each people off the ball in these first few games. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of been the emphasis since fall camp. Uh, we, we wanted to change you know, the culture and what people were already making assumptions about us before the season even started. You know, we're a young team and, you know, we lost a lot of guys. So that's really just been the emphasis on kind of getting up on teams early and just trying to, you know, assert your dominance as early as you can in the game. And, you know, so far up to this point, I feel like we've done a pretty good job of doing it. Um, obviously, you know, we're still looking on ways to get better as the weeks go on. But, you know, we've definitely been trying to just play physical and play hard. So. I think we've been doing a fair job with that. Uh, front row right, uh, Bill from Cleveland, from uh, the Columbus Dispatch. Uh, I watched the replay of the game, and, and uh, one of the commentators said that after talking to IU's coaches, they said the right side of the line was they thought the weaker side of the line. Just want to get your thoughts on that. Have you heard that? And does that give you motivation? Does it give a reaction to that? Oh uh, well, yes, I, I did hear that, and you know, I, I just try not to focus on you know, stuff that comes from outside of the team. And, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I understand that, you know, I get that there's probably going to be multiple comments like that made throughout the season. You know, if you look, if you look at it, I mean, Bowen, he did um, start for, you know, a season, but he also got hurt and he was out. And then for me, I don't really have that many game reps. So I can see how teams can say that. And, you know, I just try not to pay attention to it and just play the game of football. And, you know, let my game say otherwise. How well do you think you and Brandon are playing? I, I feel like we're, we're getting better as the weeks go on. Um, you know, we're meshing very well. It's very fluid. And, you know, we're on the same page as far as, like, every play goes. And, you know, I, I feel like we just continue. Uh, I feel like we're continuing to get better as the weeks go on. And right next door, Joey from the Columbus Dispatch. Particularly with Brandon, it hasn't seemed like there have been a ton of pressures or much coming from, from the right tackle spot. What's... What's he does? What does he do well in pass protection? Brandon, you said, what does he do? Brandon, Brandon Bowen, what does he do well in pass protection? Um, he just does a great job of being patient and using his hands. Um, you know, he, he has the experience, like I said, he, you know, it's not his first time going through and, you know, he started and already showed that he belongs to be a starter. So um, each day in practice, he just takes a huge emphasis, especially on <coughs> one-on-ones, working on his craft and, you know, just continuing to get better and it shows as the games go on. Stuff like that, with no pressures and stuff like that. Uh, second row right, Tony from the Ozone. Why don't you guys, uh, all five of you, the starters, have graded as champions each week so far this season? Is that something you guys have now talked about? Is it something I, I know it's something you strive for, but is it is it something that um, you guys are now? How do you not think about that, but also you know try to live up to what you guys have done? You know, we, we definitely um, obviously celebrate the wins and stuff like that and kind of grading out, like all of us grading out champions. It's kind of been a cool thing with these past couple games going on. But, you know, we obviously, you know, it's, it's exciting, but we put that back and then we just focus on the mistakes that we made in those games that we can improve further on. So, um, you know, it's, that, it's more, so, so, more so cool just to think about, like, we're all executing at a high level. And that if we continue on this path, we could be something really special. So, um, you know, we kind of just try to keep it grounded for the most part and just focus, you know, on, on the next game and how we can get better for it. Is there a, what happens if, say, you are the one who doesn't and the other four do? Is there, is there a desire to avoid that? You know, you don't want to be that one guy. Yes, yeah, so that's another thing. It adds kind of our own little robbery thing. I mean, right now, I think Jonah has the most knockdowns. So everyone's kind of trying to you know, knock him off the top. So, uh, you know, it adds its own friendly little robbery <coughs> to it. And obviously, if, if the whole offensive line is great and not champion, if you're not, you don't want to be that guy. So it pushes us to work harder in practice and to go harder in the games. Uh, fourth row middle, uh, Patrick from BSB, Buckeye Sports Bulletin. Wyatt, on that 26 yard day, K. Dobbins touchdown run, it looked like you kind of got out into the second level and helped bring that. Um, is that something that was schemed for, or did you just do that on your own? Yes, it was something that was schemed for. Uh, I was accountable for that linebacker, and it just so happened, 
you know, the, when I stayed and tried to finish the block, the other def I got in the way of the other defender, and that's what our coaches have been preaching to us this whole year is to finish your blocks because you never know when your block could be the block to kind of spring things open. And, um, you know, as far as my perspective, I just felt like I was just doing my job, and that was something that, you know, happened out of it. But, um, you know, it was, it was exciting to see. I mean, and too, he, that run was crazy. He was looking like Marshawn Lynch out there. So it, it gets you fired up, too, because, you know, the guy, what a J.K. brings to the table, and he runs super hard, and he's been getting better as the weeks go on as well. Uh, so that, um, Michael Jordan uh, actually gave you a, a shout out the uh, center for the uh, Cincinnati lineman uh, gave you a shout out for that. Like, how does that feel to get recognition from a guy who was here? You know, oh, it, it feels it feels really good, especially coming from Mike Jordan because when I came in this program, you know, that was a guy that took me under his wing, and you know, I looked up to so. The fact that you know they're still tuning in and watching us, it, it means a lot, and you know, it kind of tells you how special an opportunity that we have to play the game. Because you know, he constantly tells me how much, and he's at the highest level. And he tells me how much he misses playing back here, and the, you know, kind of the brotherhood of the, that we have, and the tradition of the games and stuff like that. We got time for just a couple more questions. Front row left, Nathan from Cleveland.com. Off the line is greeted as champions. As we were just saying, but coming out of that first game, Coach Dave was like, "Well, I didn't really feel like all the fits were there." Did you take Sunday or Saturday's game, the big breakout that JK has, as any indication that those things were lining up better? Did you guys come out of that thinking, you know, "We helped make that happen"? Um, as as the offensive line, as a unit, yeah. Uh, as far as that run, you, you're saying just the whole game, you know, <coughs> and to have that kind of production, him and and Master, I guess both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, it's definitely a sign that we're, we're doing our job. And, um, you know, just even the smallest little crease that we give those guys, they can turn into something huge. So, um, and you were just talking about as far as the execution. Maybe just what has gotten better from week one to week three? Even though you guys are grading as champions oh. the whole time, how have you developed over these three? I, I would say finishing blocks has gotten a lot better. Uh, we've been working, and that, that's been the emphasis for us. Is because, you know, from that first game, there was a couple times where, you know, maybe if we would have held that block a little bit longer, uh, the play could have broke out um, to be a huge play. So definitely that's been the focus. It's just been holding our blocks longer and just finishing until the whistle. So um, I feel like in the Indiana game, we did a good job of doing that. And that's why you were able to see some of those huge breakout runs from JK and Master T. And final question, Lori, did you have a question? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Lori from WTVN. This is important. Like, when did pancakes become knockdowns and why can't we bring back pancakes? You know, I'm actually not too sure about that one. I, I, I miss pancakes too, but uh, we, See, we still right? we still we still call it pancakes. But I, I just think that's that actually is a really good question. I'm not sure why. How many does Jonah have in all seriousness? Like, how I, far are you away are you? I was. I, I think. I think I'm close, but I, I, I think he still is kind of in the lead. I think he. I think he has like four more than me. Four or five. I'm not actually not too sure, actually. With you on the pancakes. Yeah, on the pancakes, definitely need to bring that back. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Right, thank you very much.